Hi everyone, Dave here. Today I have on my workbench a pair of these XZNY Ultra Mini 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. And they are rather small. Um, I've picked up a lot of 100 amp hour batteries and these do look small. So they've really crammed the batteries into this uh, form factor here. And I'm going to do a discharge test on these to make sure they really do have 100 amp hours in them. I've got two of them, so it's going to be 200 amp hours. On the back it says service at xcnybattery.com and three year free replacement, so that's good. The bolts are M8, so obviously these can handle some current and that's a good thing. My plan is to test these batteries thoroughly, including a deep cycle test. I'm going to put these batteries both in parallel to make sure they really have 100 amp hours in them. So I'm going to add them together and I'm going to see if I have 200 amp hours of storage. Let's take a look at the Mini 12 volt 100 amp hour battery product page. You can see here they have some promotions going. And the product dimensions are 5.44 inches by 9.1 by 8.19. And interestingly, if you calculate the cubic displacement of this battery, you can do that by multiplying these numbers. On the left, you have the Mini 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. On the right, that's another battery that's on the market. I guess it would be a competitor. And you can see that the difference is about 28%. So here I'm going to calculate the percentage as well. And you can see it's 72%, 72.7% of the size of one of the competing batteries on the market. So they're telling the truth when they say it is smaller. It is a mini battery. It is physically smaller than other batteries that I've tested. And the question is, does it really have 100 amp hour? In order to do that, we need to do a complete discharge test, which I will show the results of in this video. So here's the thought. XCNY's compact batteries have a higher price, but they take up significantly less space. What's the most important, price or compact size? This battery has a 100 amp BMS, and it does have low temperature protection. That means that if it gets below freezing, it should turn the battery off and not allow you to charge it. So that's good. As you can see, they're targeting RV, off-grid, trolling motors, things like that, which is relevant and makes sense. Okay, let's move on with the test. XZNY actually states that they'd welcome you to test the battery capacity, and that's very impressive to me. So anyway, let's give it a go. Here's the bench test setup. I'm using a 1200 watt pure sign inverter, an MPPT charge controller, and an air conditioner. Capacity will be tracked using this coulomb counting battery meter, which logs how many amp hours are flowing in or out of the system. Okay, I'm ready for the bench test. The battery has been sitting here fully charged for a while. I've got my 5000 V2 air conditioner plugged into this power strip. Let's turn on the inverter. Let's turn on the AC. Okay, the bench test has just started, and I'll be right back with the results. Results of the XCNY deep cycle test. Each of these batteries has a little bit more than 100 amp hours in them. They did not have any problem during the test. They cycled just fine. I don't have any complaints there, and it's good to know they have the rated capacity as advertised. These 100 amp hour X, E, and Y batteries have been integrated into my off-grid solar power system in the solar workshop for some time now. They've been through multiple cycles and real-world scenarios powering a desktop computer, a 5000 B2 air conditioner, and various other appliances and devices. They have the advertised capacity and have not given me any problems at all. Therefore, I can recommend them. Please note that I don't accept sales commissions for product reviews. If you are interested in the XCNY Ultra Mini 100 amp hour battery, there is a product link in the description. Thanks to XCNY for providing samples for this review, and thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.